Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Oh, I just realized that he has Timothy's and Aguero. I could do a review for that too. It might be a little late, but I feel like some people would still probably want to review for that. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but with Team of the Season Veron, ladies and gentlemen, looking at a card that is six foot three with medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills, and a three star weak foot. So I mean the biggest things here obviously is the fact that he's six foot three and medium high. Medium high work rates definitely makes a lot of center back cards really, really good. In regards to traits, he does not have any. He has 90 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, shooting presence doesn't matter, but he does have very good passing stats, which is fantastic, obviously. Passing stats are always a very, very welcome thing here. Um, he has defensive stats that are, that are near enough perfect, and then he has physical stats that are near enough perfect as well. So in regards to the chemistry style that I would give this card, it's very tough because you are also looking at a card that dribbling stats wise in regards to being a center back, you're actually looking at a very solid card. In regards to actually dribbling on the ball, the 68 dribbling part and the 47 balance part could affect the card a little bit, but when it comes to center backs, you kind of want to aim mostly for someone that's just going to be solid defensively in your team in all fairness. I don't know if this is the right chemistry style to give him. I would probably say... I don't know, because when it comes to like team of the season cards, it's kind of like tough to say which ones you should probably give them. It might be like a guardian situation with this card. I kind of want to check it out, actually, because I'm really curious as to what would be the most ideal. People have decided to give him an engine chemistry style, which actually would make a lot of sense because his defense is already basically perfect. His dribbling would be increased by a plus 10, his balance by a plus 10, agility by a plus 5. He gets the pace upgrade, he gets passing upgrades. Physicality, like, you don't really need to improve it because his physical stats are already there. And then his defensive stats, again, are basically perfect. So, I think an engine definitely makes sense. What's the second place one here? Anchor? Anchor was my, my first guess here in regards to giving him pace, defense, and physical. Over here, you give him a plus 10 for aggression. So, plus 10 for aggression would definitely make a difference, especially for a card like this that actually has the pace, especially to chase after opposition, right? So it's one of those cards where there's a lot of different chemistry styles you can give him for sure, I would say. But uh, I don't know, that plus 10 aggression with the anchor, it would definitely make the difference. Even if you're giving him plus fives and stuff in certain areas of his defense to make it basically 99, uh, except for like one thing. It'd be kind of nice too, you know, so it's a, it's an interesting one. Engine could be good too, though. I think with Engine, it could make sense. But with Varane's card, guys, as you guys know with center back reviews, how we will be lining up with Varane in the team is going to be looking like a 4-2-3-1. And then from the 4-2-3-1, we'll be able to, uh, you know, use different formations just to try out the card and whatnot. We are probably going to do a Team of the Season Aguero review at the same time, so it's actually perfect for the center back review because we'll be able to play normally and see how Varon plays in a four the back formation and then we'll be able to see how he plays when I'm solely focusing focusing on him in regards to chasing after players and whatnot right so um yeah the way that we're gonna be lined up in this team is going to look like this I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that that way I don't really screw with this guy's teams too much he has an amazing team by the ways um let's see what we got over here so okay so with the custom tactics, we will be using the 4-2-3-1 as one of them. So we'll just... Okay, so he has a set on his ultra attacking. We'll set it to the attacking formation. And then we'll do it over here in DD in the CDM position with Conte. Salah off to the side here. Reed Charlison in the middle. And then we'll use Varane as one of the center backs here. 4-2-3-1, uh, we'll just use the basic instructions. Everything else... Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm actually going to use pressure on heavy touch to get movement out of him, you know? Let's get movement out of the card. Yeah. And then instructions. I'll just keep everything balanced. It doesn't really matter whether these guys stay back or not. I don't really care. I just want to see how Varon defends. Um, and then the last one is obviously going to be our super aggressive. Three at the back formation over here. And then that way we'll be able to test him out solely as a center back that is kind of like defending by himself. The rest of the team doesn't... Wow, they actually rotated like some decent players in decent position i have to make like three subs if anything um yeah we'll use veron in the middle and then we'll tell these guys to play as a striker or join the attack that way veron can defend by himself so that's how we're gonna line up in game to test out veron um should be pretty decent i'm actually gonna fix the four two three one to match my tactics the only thing that's gonna be important for veron is the pressure on heavy touch because i'm gonna use his team normally uh for the aguero review as well because i might as well get that out too i didn't really get that card it was like four premier league cards that i didn't end up getting so 
Um, yeah, I'm going to try my best, guys, to make as much coins as possible um, without having to spend it on the SBCs because I need to be able to buy players, do the reviews, sell them, buy players, do the reviews, sell them. Like, I have to be able to do that. So I kind of want to work my way up until, like, 3 mil. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be very helpful for the channel if I do that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the content support you guys have been showing me. I really do appreciate it. Let's get on with the video. All right, boys, so we're going to try him out with the four at the back formation first, and then we'll uh, we'll rotate to the three at the back if need be. So let's go ahead and defend with him in the four at the back formation. We'll see what's up. Okay, so right here, we don't want the CDMs to do anything. We just want to see if they're going to be in line with anybody. Obviously, Ndidi being as good as he is. Okay, I'll tell you guys this one thing right now. Varan did a little sway there, and I that the balance part really noticeable on that on the card right in that situation. So uh, you may want to give him. Let me see if I can get a roulette off this guy. We. <laughs> I I tried the roulette, but the roulette you gotta you gotta be really angled, not in a 45, but kind of like in a 25 for you to like pop it off against the goalkeeper. Um, dudes, that balance part, man, I didn't like that at all. I can definitely feel that sway on him 100%. Lose a ball here. Okay, so nothing here. And Didi just being a god without me doing anything with him because I told you guys, man, you guys should have done this card. If you guys didn't, I told you to do it. It's beautiful. Look at this thing. I'm not even losing the ball right now. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I used this Varon card for three games because I was doing the Team of the Season Aguero card, a review. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. He didn't feel like he did much. Right? Great taco right there, though. He didn't feel like he did much, but with center backs, you kind of you kind of got to keep testing a little bit more, especially when you're using the four at the back formation. So, but I'll just let you guys know that he didn't feel like he did much. He feels like he probably needs that engine chemistry style. That's what I'll say the most about him so far, but he'll definitely make some good animation choices for some interceptions and whatnot. All right, well, we'll use a little bit of the offside trap right here. There we go. Let's see how in line he stays with the center back. So Van Dyke watching the run, sticking on side as well. No switching to anybody here. Yeah, everyone sticks to their position pretty nicely in all fairness. Positioning, it, it should be good with the car. I mean, it's basically like 99, right? So again, nothing here. Gives him the space there when we don't actually use him in that situation. Um, guys, listen. Off the ball move with him, I mean, he's going to generically be good in regards to being positioned properly. This is going to be the type of review where I have to manually use him more because that balance part in that one situation, I got to test that out more, man. Oh, his acceleration from the get, it's, uh, it's not great. You see that right there? He takes too long to get into the play instantly. Great animation to clear the ball instantly, though. Yeah, his defensive, his defensive stats are noticeably good, right? Defensive stats noticeably good on the card. This guy is playing a weird, I don't know, he thinks I'm going to do an objective or something for him. Uh, but it's good, though, because now he's going to attack against me, I hope. Um, his defensive animations and whatnot are going to be good, 100%. Off the ball movement defensively uh, positioned in certain positions. Like, see, he chooses the right animation to get possession of the ball. That part is going to be good. The initial acceleration part to get into the play defensively, I'm not really liking that part too much. It takes a little bit too long for a player that costs this much, you know? In that situation, he did okay. It does give the ball back there. Nice little defensive play right there again. It just, it might be just one of those situations where if you give him an engine, it'll fix the card. You know, it could be. I'll tell you guys this right now, man. Uh, I definitely prefer the moments. I definitely prefer the moments. Uh, the moments Sergio Ramos over this card. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that much right away. But again, it's because the agility and balance in that Ramos card is just absolutely god tier, right? Okay, manually defending again. You see, you see that part, the little that little emphasis that he has for his initial acceleration. I don't like that, man. Like if he catches up with the speed he's perfectly fine, right? But it's that initial part to get him involved instantly. I don't know, man, I'm getting like Chris Smalling vibes from him because of that balance that he has. 
Like, again, look, defensively, he's, he's nice. He, he definitely gets into certain situations where he could defend really nicely. He chooses the right animations and whatnot. But I don't like that part about the card. How much, I need to see how much this card costs afterwards. Can I score from here with a cross? Oh, wow, I think I... Oh, no, he missed that one. Yeah, he missed that one. <laughs> this guy's probably so confused that I keep giving him the ball. <laughs> Like again, off the ball movement wise here, they stay in line with each other pretty nicely. Conte and Ndidi, just a partnership and a half over here. Take the ball off me, what are you doing here? Look at look at this, look at this beast, bro. There you go. I'm not even doing anything, just to, like... Ugh. EA, your defense, man, I don't know. Oh my god, it's so heavy, dude. It's so heavy, dudes. I'm telling you, the acceleration part to get into the play is so heavy. It's so heavy, dude. I have to, like, I have to leave this game. Guys, I would never in a million years... How much does this card cost? For him doing that? Are you out of your mind? Hold on. I need to check this because this is big, this is a big no-no for me, my friend. Okay? That 47 balance and 68 dribbling part on the card is very noticeable, okay? Let me see... He doesn't have the, that chemistry style that I want in him. He doesn't have the chemistry style that I want in him. I'm, I have to leave. I have to give him an engine. I, I hope he has a lot of engines in his club, because if he doesn't, then I'm not even going to bother. Okay, guys, he's got like two engines in his club. Two engines, okay? The engine chemistry style, it has to be the, the right ones. Okay, pace I don't care about. He already has the pace. He already has the pace. The main thing, okay, is boosting that balance agility and dribbling part if he does not transition the moment i switch to him to defend really nicely i'm this is gonna this is gonna be a wrap for me i know some people are not gonna agree with this opinion but he's gonna he's gonna be a wrap for me 1.1.8 million coins and you can't you can't accelerate instantly from freaking from selecting instant bro on base card stats he should be able to do that okay if i'm paying 1.8 million coins for this card no 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 no, no. i need to like guys, I'm not. Uh, listen, I'm not saying the center back is terrible, but for 1.8 million coins, you should be able to do that on base card stats, my dude. You know what I'm saying? And he 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 takes so long because his balance is so low. I need to try him out again. I don't even know if this is gonna be a three at the back situation with this card because I don't know. Oh, I have to put a manager on the contract. He has to put a manager on the contract. He this card is performing so badly for me that I'm discombobulating my words. Uh, oh, lovely, look at this. Great job, EA, fantastic, man. You guys add a new kit, and look, look at this, beautiful stuff here. Oh, God, just clueless. You can never use the new kits because of this. I, I, like, I know that you could still tell a difference, but I wanna be like an instant difference, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit improved. It's a little bit improved. It's a little bit improved. Give me a second. Okay, Veron, okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's he's just running right now. Oh, uh... He's just, he, okay, he's joined the attacking play. I don't know, okay. Bam! With the header. Uh, he just joined the attacking play randomly. I was like, all right, bet. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, defensive presence, I like it, I like it. He does, he does, like I said, he's making the right choices in, in regards to the animations. Ooh, he gets back into position quickly too. I will say, I will say, the engine chemistry style drastically, oh, that part, I hate that. Uh, it does drastically improve the card, guys, but for 1.8 million coins, that balance part and that dribbling part on his card, it's, like, if he was like, Honest to God, if he was like, I'm not even going to joke around when I say this. If he was like 500k, okay, but he's not a 1.8 million coin player. Like, there's just no, there's no shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just, there's just absolutely no shot for it. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. Yeah, I got to be in that 50% that doesn't like this card. I got to be completely honest with you guys. This card's disrespectful to my boy Diego Carlos, who was playing on basic chemistry style and was doing work in my team. That's without the shadow on him, right? 
this car, man, I just I feel like his balance part affects him too much. His dribbling, I, you know what I you know what I really think it is. You know what I really really think it is. I think this is what really screws his card. It's a combination of the balance dribbling with the body type that he has. Okay, because Rio Ferdinand's prime card has like he his like I'll show you guys right. So Rio Ferdinand, I have his prime card because I got him in the prime um, the prime SBC from the icon swaps and whatnot, right? And like look at his dribbling. He has fifty five dribbling, sixty agility, fifty seven bounce. But he does have a different body type in game because this card, if you guys ever use this card, he's brilliant. I, now, his baby card, I don't mess with this baby card too much, but this card is a specimen in a, in a team. Like, like every time I put another center back next to him, I'm like, he's not real for tonight. He's not real for tonight. He's not real for tonight the entire time, right? And, like, again, his dribbling's not great. Like, I have a shadow chemistry style on him. He basically near enough, give him like 99, 99 acceleration, 92 sprints, so near enough perfect defending. But I really think it's the body type that makes me not like this card. Now, again, defensive animations, defensive decisions, he makes good defensive decisions, right? But it's that, like, being able to sway left and right quickly. Like, I can do that with Ferdinand. And I feel like I couldn't do it with Varane, like, really quickly. And the fact that you have to give him an engine as well to have to fix the dribbling is, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this card, to make him make sense in FIFA, should have had, honest to God, like, 74 balance with like 75 dribbling like and people would be like oh but that's overpowered like it's it would make sense if he costs that much you know what i'm saying but i think it affects it too much in regards to how i feel about him defensively in all fairness right so um if you guys were to pack the card if i were to pack the card yeah he'd be better than a lot of center backs that i have right but i value him at like 500k not 1.7 1.8 mil it's a little bit 500k yes for sure but 1.7 I, I don't value him there to be honest with you guys I don't really value him there. And this wasn't just a matter of testing him out in one game. I was doing the review for Team of the Season Aguero as well. And the one thing that I kept thinking about was like, dude, I haven't even noticed Varane doing anything like super significant when me when I'm playing normally, right? Like without me, because when you're doing reviews for attackers, it's different than defenders because defenders, you're kind of forcing the situation. But you really test it out when you're doing, when you're just playing normally, which I do in every review because I have to, to test them out properly. Um... I didn't feel like he was doing anything. I didn't feel like there was a defensive presence with him and my team of Van Dyke. Like, he always felt like he was there, always felt like he was doing something. With Varane, I just, I didn't feel that. Diego Carlos, very similar situation. I was doing the review for him. Bro, a shapeshifter Zakaria felt like he was doing something in my team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still talk about that card because he's freaking sick. My boy, that, my boy Jordy actually still has that card because he's dope, but yeah, I don't mess with this Varane card, guys. It's going to pretty much do it for today's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.